Hello, lovebirds. My name is Victana Cosplay or Alana, whichever you choose to refer to me as. I do not care. So today's video is going to be asking a pretty serious question, even though this video is not that serious. And the question is, is Valentine's Day only February 14th? Now, I know with me saying that at first, it sounds like, number one, I'm an idiot. Number two, I don't know the dates of holidays. But what I mean by it is, should there only be one day dedicated to showing your love and appreciation for someone? Now, I took this to Instagram, and if you don't follow my Instagram, it's right here. You should go check that out. <laughs> So you can be in my videos. So I asked you guys on Instagram how you celebrate your holiday and what Valentine's Day, Jesus, means to you. And here are some of the responses that I got. Not the first one that I got, the first one that came up was from RDPG. And she says, I don't celebrate it. It's a stupid holiday, but I do respect others that celebrate it. And I celebrate February 15th on sales day. Honestly, same. <laughs> you guys, if we're being honest, Valentine's Day chocolate is a little expensive. So, when it goes on sale, it tastes even better. Okay. Landon BS is coming at us and saying, not coming at us, God, his response says that it is the one mandatory day day of the year now this is kind of the reason why i made this video because here's my thought on that if you're in a relationship or you love someone tell me or tell me not why does one day aka valentine's day mean so much more than every other day shouldn't it be the other way around okay Basically, what I mean by this is I feel that not only people forget to show appreciation for that special person, as a person who can't find the one, you should be grateful and show it. Don't lose someone because you don't know how to express your love and gratitude towards them. I have seen so many relationships go down the drain because that person never told them that they loved them back. The person never even took them on dates. The person never called them. The person never sent them like a good night message. They never told them how beautiful they were. It's just the tiny things can make the most, like the biggest difference. And people need to start realizing that, I think, and utilizing that. Because I promise you, no matter how in love you think you are, if you can't show that to another person or you can't even show it to yourself, it's not going to be worth anything. It's not. It's really not. So with that being said, not only love yourself, but show appreciation to those you love and those around you. You never know who might need it. So, okay, moving on. Lived at Lions said, to me, it's not about the superficial stuff, but it's about spending the day with those you love. I do agree with this statement, but I kind of want to nitpick it a little bit. So family for example you spend every single day with them when you have time like around the holidays you make time for them you move your schedule around for babies being born you do everything you can to be with your family when you can so when you're in a relationship shouldn't it be the same if you love that person you should always make time for that person why does one day matter so much if you can't make time for them on a regular day-to-day -day basis and what I mean by this is recently I have talked to like three guys over the course of my entire life and all of them were busy like 24 seven. And it made me feel like number one, they didn't care. And number two, they never loved me. I don't think they did, but that's not the point. Uh, <laughs> I didn't love them either, but you know, kids. <laughs> so, um, it's just like, if somebody loves you, I feel they should make time for you, not just for one day. And if they can't do that, then, sweetheart, they're not for you. If they can't tell you you're beautiful or go on walks with you or draw you, like, a rose petal bath or even make, like, <laughs> you know, like that bed business special, if you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you getting... 
Um, if he can't do that and satisfy you, then it's not worth it. You are a queen, and if you can't find a girl that'll treat you like a king, then she ain't worth it either. Like, if she ain't loyal, if she's going with other dudes or hanging out with other dudes, bro. Don't stick uh, around, because uh, she's not uh, it. Yeah, there are so many yeah. girls who would take care of so many guys, and there are so many sweet guys out there who would treat their women like kings. Y'all just need to find each other. Stop blinding yourself with all these, like, things on the media. And, oh my god, like, he cheated on me. And especially since, like, social media is a thing now. It's just kind of, like, everything's so artificial. And I hate it. And I hope people realize that. But we went on a tangent, and I'm sorry. Let's get back to the main question. Is Valentine's Day on February, like, only February 14th? Of course it's on February 14th, stupid. Is it only February 14th? Tell me your opinions on this down in the comments below. Cause I, I kinda wanna, I wanna see what other people think about this. So, with that being said, love yourself, love those around you, show your appreciation. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I know this video is going up a little early, but I definitely wanna get this message out before Valentine's Day. So yeah, and if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Um, it is very cute and it's very funny, I think, in my opinion. I don't know. My con I find my content funny. <laughs> then again, I laugh at my own jokes at school. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys as soon as possible. Bye.